Hey guys, this is Dr. Hub. In case you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe for updates. Let's look into the pre and post ganglionic lesions. So in case of pre-ganglionic lesions, it includes the proximal to the dorsal root ganglion. So it's proximal to the dorsal root ganglion. Next, in case of post-ganglionic, it is distal to the dorsal root ganglion. So post is distal, pre is proximal to the dorsal root ganglion. Now what about the injury? The injury is in pre-ganglionic, there's avulsion to the nerve root from the spinal cord. So it's avulsion of nerve root. This is from the spinal cord. Whereas in case of post-ganglionic, there's a disruption of the distal nerve root. The distal nerve root is affected and the nerve trunk or the peripheral nerve. Now, what is the prognosis? In case of post-ganglionic, it has a very good prognosis and the histamine test is negative. What is the histamic test? In post-ganglionic, it is negative. Whereas in case of pre-ganglionic, it becomes positive. Next is the surgical repairability. So here in surgical repairability, in post-ganglionic, it is repairable. So it is repairable and it has a good prognosis. The histamine is negative. The distal to the dorsal root ganglion and the disruption of the distal nerve root trunk as well as the peripheral nerve. Now let's move on to the histamine test. The histamine test is normally the triple response is produced on the intradermal injection of histamine. So triple response is what you expect is produced on the intradermal injection, intradermal injection. And this is to the histamine. Next is the central capillary dilation will result in the surrounding flare and ultimately the flare to the wheel is seen. So what are the conclusions with respect to this? Conclusions, uh, there is a normal sensate skin with a triple response. So if both are normal, it is the no nerve injury is seen. Next, in case of the pre-ganglionic lesion. So here in pre-ganglionic lesion, there's a normal triple response over the anesthetic skin. So there's anesthetic skin and a normal triple response. Then we move on to the incomplete triple response. So here an incomplete triple response is over the anesthetic skin and it leads to the post-ganglionic lesion. So in case of post-ganglionic lesion, the incomplete triple response over the anesthetic skin. The normal triple response in anesthetic skin is the pre-ganglionic lesion. Other thing to notice in post-ganglionic lesions, in post-ganglionic lesions, the triple response has no flare because of the disrupted pathway or to the ganglion. So there is no flare. Why is there no flare? This is only because of the disrupted pathway or to the ganglion. To learn and grow daily like this, please do subscribe.